Soon after it was revealed that MetaQuest Pro would be released at MetaConnect 2022, rumors concerning a third version of the game began to circulate. Many found it a bit annoying because everyone thought MetaQuest Pro would be MetaQuest 3. Now that that's out of the way, we can talk about what we know of the new Quest 3. When will MetaQuest 3 be released? And what are some of the features and drawbacks that should be expected? Stay tuned, this is interesting. The newly created collaboration between Meta and Microsoft was discussed by Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Meta, and Satya Nadella, CEO of Microsoft, during the introduction of the Quest Pro by Stratacherry. During the meeting, Zuckerberg disclosed that there would be a Quest 3 range from $300, $400, or $500. While this statement confirmed the Quest 3, it also indicated that its release would be late in 2023. It is also in keeping with the current pricing of MetaQuest 2, which was $300 and $400 for the 128GB or 256GB models, until a recent price increase of $100 brought it up to $400 and $500. We believe that it is reasonable to charge $400 for MetaQuest 3, given that it contains the same fundamental components. According to the Lynch leak we will be discussing in greater detail, Meta intends to send the Tier Up model with additional memory and storage for approximately the same price as the Quest 2. Most of what we know about the MetaQuest 3 comes from a series of leaked videos posted by YouTube users. In these videos, we can see CAD renders of the headset and details of how the Quest 3 is the love child of Quest Pro and Quest 2 hardware. According to sources, the Quest 3 will revert to the same soft strap and front sorted battery as the Quest 2, rather than including the built-in Elite strap and back battery pack on the Quest Pro. Manufacturers frequently utilize a default strap that could be more optimal because it's flexible and difficult to change, to save money on production costs. Pancake lenses, which were one of the most notable aspects on the Quest Pro, may be included in the Quest 3, which is very encouraging news. Because of this, the headgear will have a much reduced frontal mass compared to its previous iteration, addressing a potential fault in the original design. The charging and data port for the new module is positioned within the front left strap of the new iteration, which renders your previous Quest 2 strap selections obsolete. Tracking cameras with six degrees of freedom that face sideways have also been installed, but are still in the same location as the Quest 2. And well, with the Quest 3, purchasing additional front-facing six DOF cameras and a depth sensor will be possible. According to Lynch, the Quest Pro will be capable of full-color pass-through. This will make it possible for Meta to transfer some of the mixed reality experiences currently available on the Quest Pro to the Quest 3. If you were able to acquire the Quest 2, the Quest 3 would significantly improve quality over the Quest 2, which was dull, slow, and sometimes black and white. Lynch also claims that the high-fidelity hand tracking of the Quest 3 will be significantly improved over that of the Quest 2, which uses less camera tracking if it uses the same depth sensor and depth projector as the Quest Pro. In contrast to the two connections on the Quest Pro, there will only be a single 3.5mm connection on the right side of the device for use with headphones. However, if you do not secure the headphones, you risk tripping over the cords attached to them. Lynch also said that the Quest 3 would not include eye or facial tracking capabilities, even though it will inherit the mixed reality upgrades and pancake lenses of the Quest Pro. Compared to the Quest Pro, which has five built-in cameras to accomplish similar capabilities, the Quest 3 would need to be considerably more expensive to cover the cost difference. Also, the Quest 3 may not live up to the standards set by other virtual reality headsets, particularly the PlayStation VR 2, which has eye tracking and favated rendering. Lynch believes that the headset will only contain a single cooling fan, similar to the Quest 2, in contrast to the Quest Pro, which featured two fans. There are also concerns that the Quest 3's new Snapdragon CPU might present some difficulties, although it will increase speed significantly. The display on Quest 3 might be better than the display on the Quest Pro, which had QLED screens with 500 dimming zones. Instead, Lynch believes that it will use LCD screens like the Quest 2, and, up until this point, there has been no indication as to whether or not the resolution will be better than the 1832 by 1920 pixelation of the Quest 2. Earlier, Lynch stated that the Quest 3 would include OLED displays produced by Changzin technology. On the other hand, the processor that will be found in the Quest 3 is undergoing a significant change. The XR2 Gen 2 CPU is rumored to use a modified version of the 4NM Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip to power 2023 flagships such as the Samsung Galaxy. Examining the performance of smartphones released in 2022 might give you an idea of how much faster the Quest 3 will be compared to its predecessor. 
the forthcoming XR2 Gen 2 will utilize the Adreno 740 GPU, which can deliver greater performance than the market-leading Apple A16 GPU found in the iPhone 14 Pro and supports hardware-accelerated ray tracing. Moreover, the memory utilized in the Quest 3 will be LPDDR5, which is an improvement over the LPDDR4X that was utilized in Quest 2. Including the XR2 Gen 2 could allow the Quest 3 to provide gaming performance that is superior to the Quest Pro. Lynch believes that Meta would offer a 12GB or 512GB Quest 3 at a premium price, matching the Pro in RAM and exceeding the storage space for games. This would put the Quest 3 in direct competition with the Pro. If what's being said about this headset is right, then it's clear that it's the one that gamers should go for. All that is good news, but as we mentioned before, one of the potential drawbacks is that the Quest 3 might only feature a single cooling fan, which would limit it from reaching the full capability of the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 processor. There is also the possibility that the Quest 3 will ship with either 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM as standard. However, this remains to be seen. Aside from that, we don't know much about the anticipated Quest 3. For instance, how large a battery will be included to make up for the performance jump? Nonetheless, Meta typically aims for between 2 and 3 hours for the battery life of its headsets, and it should be lighter than the Quest 2 due to the inclusion of pancake lenses and the twin speaker vents on the gadget. There is no information regarding how the Halo tracking ring will be included in the Quest 3 controllers or whether they will be similar to the Quest Pro controllers. The Quest Pro controllers cost $300, making them unaffordable for most individuals. We anticipate that Quest 3 controllers will have a simpler design, but we are keeping our fingers crossed that the Quest Pro controllers will be compatible with the Quest 3. If you have tested out Plutosphere, the side-loaded Quest 2 cloud game, you already know that it has problems maintaining a stable connection for long enough to play Half-Life Alex. As a result, we are curious about how well it will run on the Quest 3 and how many users will have to pay for network access. At the Game Developers Session 2022, Sony discussed how its next VR gear would significantly impact the gaming experience. If you use favated rendering in conjunction with eye tracking, you may anticipate 3.6 times improvement in the frame rate of the GPU. The headset will provide contextual highlighting and aim support thanks to its ability to track the player's gaze, location and rotation, pupil diameter, and blink states. Because this new headset is coming out in 2023, several months before Quest 3, this new headset will provide a challenge that Meta will have a difficult time meeting if eye tracking is not in Quest 3. Because this is the direction in which virtual reality is heading, game designers will need to take eye tracking more seriously. And there will be an incredible quantity of electronic waste produced if owners of the Quest 3 system need a simple way to resell or swap their older devices. The aggravation consumers will feel due to the $500 charge so soon after acquiring a new Quest 2 is inevitable. If Meta follows Samsung's example and offers customers who trade in their Quest 2 headsets for a big discount on the Quest 3 headset, the company stands to gain a great deal of consumer goodwill. Anyway, what do you think of the upcoming Quest 3? Do you think it'll be a commercial success for Meta? Leave your thoughts on the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell.